begin, we want to make it clear that both races and fun, and myself as a combinator, do not receive any monetary benefit from Play Robotic to make this review. Only Races and Fun has received track pieces and a starting gate from this company to make an honest review. So let's begin. Also, thank you to Play Robotics for sending in the awesome electric starting gate that we will be talking about today. This piece in front of you is the Smart Advanced Racetrack Starting Gate. First impressions, well, it's aesthetically very pleasing. Many uh, details to the electronics of it and the starting gate itself, the yellow track pieces, very well cut and beautiful in design. Definitely shows to the great work that Play Robotics does. There also is a traffic light at the beginning to count down the racers, and it will indicate on green that the race has begun. They'll be activated when you press the start button, the gate will automatically open. When the gate is connected, the LED uh, screen immediately lights up, indicating uh, which lane is the winner and other things like that. You can see the Hot Wheels track fits smoothly into the gate, making for easy and convenient setup. And this black cable will take it all the way down to the end gate, which will put up times and of course the winner of the race. You don't need any other cables to plug into the wall if you're going portable. All you need is a battery to keep the gate running. Easy to assemble as you see by its easy fit into any basic Hot Wheels track and easy to put up the end gate here. You can see those black squares at the bottom on either side also slide right into the Hot Wheels track for easy assembly. And they slide right in there and you can even connect another piece over top of it on the other side. You don't have to end it right there as the black squares will slide infinitely down under the chasm of the track piece. Now we can give it a test here. You can see the traffic light go off and two cars begin rolling. Easy exit for both vehicles and when we get to the bottom, the times pop up as shown, showing the winner. If you go to their official website, uh, playrobotics.com, you can see more components of this gate and uh, contact them if you need any, have any questions. They have excellent customer service. You can also connect to your computer to uh, make other programs focus on learning. They have a bunch of different coding based programs for track designs and other gates. For more information about prices, shipping, and other products, please visit them on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter at playrobotics.com. Big review, but it's now time to take to the track and really put this starting gate and finish line to the test. Hey, everybody. I'm Brendan, and I hope you enjoyed our review today from Play Robotics, an excellent company bringing us high-quality gear here for races and fun. Today we have Hot Wheels and Matchbox out on the track, eight of each, as we go head-to-head -head in the classic hairpin course. We saw this course a long time ago. It's been a while since it's popped up on the channel, but uh, as you will see, it will have a receding hairpin. As tracks divide, Mustang and Porsche to start. And then they will come back together at the end. Mustang in the lead out of the gate here. You can see now they are separated here. And then they come back together in the final straight. And Mustang takes off like a rocket. Two lengths ahead and finish line eats up quickly. And that's going to be the winning time. We can get a look at some of the numbers there. And we get a nice replay. Maybe put a benchmark time here. Six, seven, four. That's quite fast. Electro Silhouette and the 15 Ram. Silhouette. Ram. Ooh, a little slow out of the gate for both of them. Ram on the far side there, holding true with the lead. Has a couple of lengths. Silhouette trying to come back. Here comes the straight for both of them. Now it's good for the Silhouette here at the end. Ooh, that's a couple of lengths right there. 
And I don't know if that's the fastest time based on the hesitation out of the gate. I can already see a 7 up there on the clock, but uh, it was a winning time. An Electro Silhouette will move on. Trail Tracker and the 4 GT race. Trail Tracker and the 4 GT. Out of the gate they go. Gate comes down and the Trail Tracker really has the disadvantage leaving the gate. Wobbling through the track, but he's already back on top. Where's the speed from the Ford GT? It's just not there. And that's a huge blowout. Started bad for the trail tracker, but, uh, well, the, he was really able to put speed in his wheels at the end. Now, not good times for both of them. I think that was an 8 on the board, but, well, he does get the move on, give another shot in the next round for the trail track. 8.20. Shark Cruiser. And the 15 Range Rover. Rover, Shark Cruiser. Separate lanes. They finally come out of the gate. Shark Cruiser. Ooh, slow out of the gate, but on the near side here and rolling fast. Range Rover is holding a nice lead right now. Ooh, fast through that final hairpin. And that was an advantage for him. And he will find the end of the course no issue. Mm, still a slow time, though. We're upwards of 7. And that will be 721. Honda Civic and the Aston Martin Vulcan. Here comes the Vulcan. Ooh, faster out of the gate by a length now, too. And they head to the first uh, hairpin and a Honda. Well, he can't find his wheels so far. Can he find him in the final straight? They are close, and he comes out fast through the second hairpin as they come back together. And that will be the length he needs to win. And, uh, time's still not impressive. 7.52. We're going in the wrong direction here, but... About average at this point. Lamborghini, Aventador, and the Mustang. Gate flips down, and they are off. Lamborghini started slow, but climbing back here as we head to straight two. And here he goes. He's up by a length at least right now. Here comes the final straight, and the Mustang can't find any clearance. And he's not going to win. Aventador, well, moving on with a 7.22, it looks like, on time, which has been faster today. Been a faster time out there. Porsche Cayman and the Formula Gen 2. Gen 2. Mm -hmm. Odd-looking vehicle for sure. Both of these vehicles putting a golden sheen on the top. A little bit of green there as well. And uh, here comes the Gen 2 at the end. Holds the lead. A little bit of gap closure, but not enough. And the Porsche will not have it. What times do we see? 7.08. Falcon and the Benz. Benz. Large car here on the near side, and they're about even out of the gate, but the Benz starts to wobble. Ooh, he's up on two wheels right there for a second. That's going to be a tough uh, mistake to come back from, and he will not come back from it. And then quickly to the end, 7.29, but we have a 6.93 for a winning vehicle. That's definitely the second, I think the second best time we have today. Not bad at all. Porsche Rally and the McLaren Speedtail. The rally. Car we haven't seen very often here at Races and Fun. McLaren, on the other hand, we see that vehicle all the time. Coming out strong through the first straight and letting up a little bit through the second one. Rally here comes at the end, closing the gap slowly. But he would have needed about three miles more of track to end up in the front. Not nearly fast enough in that end acceleration. 4 to 5 here. Hot Wheels Matchbox. Hot Wheels edging over Matchbox with one car. Next round, here we go. And it's Honda Civic in the Lamborghini. And the Lamborghini did not start in the lead last time, but was able to make a comeback. This time starts in the lead, and the Honda, ooh, wheels up there through that first hairpin, and he loses some control. Can he gate it back here? There comes the speed. We saw this in the last race. Honda Civic right at the end. And that's a beautiful way to finish. That's going to put a time of about 7.72, so not fast, but fast enough 
to hold the win even to the next round. And we're really trimming down on cars here, so we're still doing well. McLaren and the Ford Mustang. McLaren coming out slow. And Ford Mustang starting fast, but slowly. You can see the lead slipping away as the McLaren starts to accelerate and gain footing here. But here's the gap at the end, and surprisingly, the Mustang holds through. And we have some really nice numbers. I think we have a new best time for the day of 6.71. Wow. Range Rover, Electro Silhouette. Both of the cars struggled to win in the previous race, but still came out on top, and now they go head-to-head -head silhouettes with a hood length of a lead, but the Range Rover comes back here in straight two to head down that angular hill, and here comes the Range Rover at the end. Silhouette trying to keep up and has a chance, but not enough track. Another good time. This was ranging really towards 7.00. Let's see what pops up again. 7.08. Pretty good. Ford Falcon and the trail track. Remember, the trail tracker really had trouble getting out of the gate last time, which really uh, hampered his time. Oh, man, you saw the bobble right there. He almost lost all control. There goes the speed, and there goes the win. There will be no possibility of comeback for the trail tracker right there. And he comes across one of the worst times all day. That's an 871. Never want to see that up on the time board, but nothing you can do. If you lose footing early on, I mean, it's going to be hard to gain back that time. 7.04 on the other end. And that's a lot better. Formula Gen 2 gets a free pass. And we're 3 to 2. Hot Wheels to Matchbox. And the next round. Heading towards those semifinals Gen 2 and the Mustang. Mustang has been dominant all day today. Not much time spent in second place. Gen 2, not very happy about that. And he's going to come out strong. He still a couple of lengths behind. Can he get in front here at the end? Here comes acceleration, but there's not enough track. And that's been the detriment for a lot of cars who have late race acceleration. And just running out of room. 6.83. A great time. Ford Falcon and the Range Rover. And the Ford Mustang will be one to look out for here at the end. Falcon, Range Rover, slow out of the gate, but neck and neck here as we head down. Range Rover taking an early lead, but the Falcon reasserts himself into the first turn. Here we go towards turn two. They come back together, and the Ford Falcon is now behind. Range Rover pulling ahead by a length, and he's got it. 7.02. Trimming down the time. Slowly but surely, Honda Civic free pass. Three matchbox, that's it. Hot Wheels is done for today. And the semifinals and finals will be held only by matchbox cars. The team has won. And now we have the trim down here. Free pass, of course, for the Ford Mustang, who has been the most dominant today. And the Honda Civic and Range Rover take to a two-race uh, semifinals where the best time put up on that board will be the time that gets to take themselves to the final Range Rover. Oh my god, I mean, come on. I don't even have to say anything, and you can see that that lead is, is massive. 7.13, good way to start here in the semifinals. Honda Civic not looking good for him, and honestly, the Range Rover not looking good for him if he makes it to the finals as far as times. The Ford Mustang has been under seven all day, and Range Rover will have to pick it up even another few tenths of a second if he wants to be strong in the finals. Looking good for him here at the end of the semifinal, put up another good time, but will it be enough to be favored going into this final heat? 7.11 trims down ever so slightly, but is a few tenths off the Mustang. Honda, mm, not so good. Free pass for the Mustang, and here we go to the finals. Finals, best time of two passes. Oh, they're actually going to throw the Mustang up against the Honda Civic. 
for the finals as well. Now, I don't really know why they're doing this, but the free pass is definitely natural for the Mustang. He's the best racer today with the best times. And he really is going to crush the Honda Civic. This is really just a practice in futility. And it's just going to be very detrimental to the mental state of the Honda here because, I mean, look at the time difference. We have seven, six, seven, five. That's one of the best times today. And, well, we have 7.58, so... I don't know, I don't know about this decision, but yeah, nonetheless, they do go with it, and the Honda again racing up again here against the Mustang, who's trying to keep the gap within, uh, <laughs> at least keep both of the cars on the camera screen, right? But the Mustang just way out in front, look at him blast through the end, and he can not even pick up a better time here. 6.77, he's keeping it in range of that 6.75 area, which is going to make it very hard for the Range Rover to come back here in the finals. Now, here comes the finals. That car with the best time will be the champion. Range Rover, Mustang. We've been waiting for it. Here it is. Ooh, slow out of the gate. Both of them, Range Rover, trying to hold par with the Mustang, but it's slow through the first straight for the Range Rover. He goes a couple wheels up in the air through the second straight, bobbling through the end here. Straight looks bad. Look at the distance between the two. And that's a slow time for the Range Rover. But compared to his other Range Rover times, it's actually quite good. 7.05 been good for the Range Rover, but that does not compare to the 6.79 that the Mustang has put up. We are going to change lanes, give the Range Rover another shot here. But I don't know if he's got it in him. We're a little bit closer to the first straight this time. Here comes the second straight in the Mustang. Ooh, a little front wheel up there for a second, but able to hold all control necessary. Bobbles a little bit at the end, so probably not a record time for him, but still very good 7 point, uh, 6 6.76. And leaves the Range Rover looking pretty shoddy with a 7.10. And that will give the win to the Ford Mustang, who blew out the competition today, both in his own group and the Hot Wheels. Range Rover coming in second, Honda Civic in third, and that will do it for today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Races and Fun.